You need to wash your beard. Some of you watching right now should be washing your beard every single day because of your lifestyle, like getting sweaty, getting dirty, wash your beard, and that's okay. Even washing every single day is perfectly fine as long as you know what you're doing. If you are using the wrong type of wash and you're using it too frequently, you can and will damage your beard. If you want the optimal health and appearance of your beard, you need to figure out what is the right type of wash and when should you be using it and how often should you be using it. And that's what I'm going to go over in this video today. I'm going to give examples of things like pH levels and how stripping it is or what type of product it is, when you should be using it, how frequently, and all the information surrounding this topic that I think you guys should need to know if you want that best beard possible. And I first want to welcome you guys. My name's Dan C. Bearded. Thank you for checking this video out. Shout out first to my subscribers that are returning and the channel members. Thank you guys so much for literally making all these dreams come true. I absolutely appreciate everything you guys do for this platform. If you're new out there, please consider subscribing if you like learning about taking care of your beard. And whoever's watching right now, if you guys could do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and let's help this video out. I recommend stripping your beard once a week or once every other week, depending on your lifestyle. If you have a lifestyle like I talked about earlier in the video because of your job or working out or maybe you live in a hot area where you're sweating every day, where you're getting dirty, you should be stripping your beard once a week. Now, if you don't have that, let's say you're in air conditioning, your job isn't that like physically demanding or labor intensive. And for whatever reason, you're not working out at this time period in your life. No judgment here. I'm not either right now. I will one day, but not right now. You don't need to do it every week, but I would recommend once every other week. And I would say a good rule of thumb is a minimum of a couple of times a month. Now we're going to kind of break down every angle of this topic when it comes to stripping washes. And we'll start with here. What is a stripping wash? How is it different than the other types of washes? Well, it takes off more from the hair and the skin. It's going to get in there as compared to something like a daily or gentle wash, which is super important. And we'll talk about in the next segment, it's going to get in there and remove those buildups of sodium from your sweat. It's going to get out the dirt, the gook, the grease, the oil. Yes. I know this sounds like blasphemy. What we want to get rid of the oils. Yes, we do. You want a reset. You want to get rid of everything and then afterwards come back in and replenish and nourish with these quality ingredients that we spend so much time researching and money on and, and really love the passion of it. Let them do their job. A stripping wash is super important for anybody's beard and anybody's skin. We just need to dial in how often you should be doing this depending on your lifestyle and your life factors. Now, scientifically speaking, what's the difference between a stripping wash as compared to a daily gentle? It almost always comes down to pH level. A stripping wash is going to have a higher pH number, making it a little bit more abrasive, a little bit more, I think the best word for it is stripping. We're looking at starting around a pH of eight or nine, and it can go even more than that, but we don't want to get too extreme. Uh, but an eight or nine is going to give you that stripping wash. Now we're going to go over a couple examples because this is a tough thing, right? We, most of us watching this video right now, at least that have been around the channel, you can read a bottle of oil and you can probably guess the viscosity based on the potency of the ingredients, right? You understand castors thick, grapeseed oil is thin. Okay. It balances out here. This is higher on the list. Well, when it comes to like washes and soaps, that is very difficult to do. Unless you're a chemist or you work in the field or you have years of experience with this, it is almost impossible to read a wash ingredient list and say, ooh, yes, this one is a stripping wash because of this. It's very difficult. So one thing that is good though is a lot of these companies are getting much better at labeling. They're putting things on the label like daily wash, gentle wash. Um, I have a stripping one here and the language they use is deep cleaning formula. Okay, that makes sense. That's a stripping wash. Now, 
here are my recommendations. And I am gonna recommend stuff and I'll link them down below. Most of them, if not all of them, are affiliates, which means I get a commission or a small kickback on sales, which helps out the channel, helps out everything that I do here for my job, for my equipment. It also helps out you guys because you save money and it helps out the com uh, companies because they have offered these affiliate discounts. So clearly it's something that they want and they're putting out there. It's kind of like marketing for them. It's like a three-way symbiotic relationship. And why did I pick these ones? because they're the ones that I actually use, that I actually love. And isn't that how it should be? Isn't that how an affiliate should be? The ones that you love, you're talking about? So I, I digress there, because I know people are gonna be like, you only show affiliates. Yeah, it's the ones that I actually use and love. I think that's how everybody should approach it, but that's just me. Okay, two recommendations. I love a good beard bar soap, and one of the best, if not the best, would be whiskey and hardtack. They started actually as a soap company, and then that was the parent company, Sweet Tea and Biscuits, that led into this one. And this is a collab from the channel. It's not just necessarily my collab, but we created it on a live stream and a Facebook group. Pretty cool. These are amazing. They are stripping. You can use them on your beard. You can use them on your body every single day. I use this on my beard usually once a week, or I go with my other stripping option, and that would be from BABC, and, not, and they have a couple options. This is not their hog wash. This is their beard wash. Their beard wash is stripping. It has the scent of peppermint, eucalyptus, and tea tree. Whew, goodness, is it an experience? Is it amazing? It's tingling, it's stripping. It's the only liquid stripping wash that I will recommend, but I absolutely love it. Try to work these guys in, but not too frequently. If you are using a bar soap on your beard every single day, you are causing damage. You may not notice it as much as the next guy. You may be genetically gifted where it's not that big of a deal, right? We're probably gonna hear from people in the comments or at least talking about the video. I hear this all the time. I use a bar soap on my beard every day and I have no problems. I even use Dial. It's a dollar from the dollar store, no worries. That same person then brags about trimming their split ends every weekend before their beard competition. Uh, you have no problems, but you have split ends literally. I've heard someone say that. You have split ends every weekend. Something's causing those split ends. Split ends are damaged. They're not natural. Something is occurring to the hairs. I have a sneaky suspicion that I know what that is. So just because someone says it works for them, maybe it does and they're genetically like blessed. Maybe they just don't have a full understanding of what health is or what it really is doing to their beard. So always keep that in mind when you take like those, uh, those examples, those extreme ones to heart. Maybe they just don't have that full understanding. Stripping, so good for your beard, but just don't do it too frequently. The other days of the week when you're not using a stripping wash and you're not rinsing, rinsing is the idea of just getting your beard in the shower with no products, no wash, no soap or anything like that, which is great. I'm pretty much on an every other day basis where I wash one day, I rinse one day. Unless I get sweaty, then I'm gonna wash it, right? You gotta adjust with what life hands you. But on those other days, use a daily gentle wash. The good news is, most companies have fantastic daily gentle washes, at least the ones that we cover on this channel in the community, some great options out there. Now I will say, because I know someone's gonna ask, please do not make a routine out of washing your beard twice a day. The frequency does matter. You can get away with once a day when you're using the right products, no problem. But once you start doubling it up and it's now starting to compound, now we're getting into some issues there and I do not recommend that. However, Saturday, I washed my beard in the morning because I needed it with a wash day. Maybe I had some drool in my beard the night before. Who knows, right? And then we were going out to lunch actually with the mayor and Betsy, his wife. And then afterwards, Sam decided to spring on me. We were going to do some major yard work with mulch. So I was not only sweaty, I was sunburned. I had like mulch and dirt in my beard. I clearly needed to wash it again before I went to bed. So I did wash twice that day. If it comes up, do it. If you need to, do it. But if it is a regular thing, if this is your rotation, reach out to me. We can find a better plan. Maybe it's not washing before you go work out and you save it till later in the day. We'll come up with something, I promise, but you do want to avoid washing twice a day. All right, let me break down some options here. Most companies have a good liquid daily gentle wash, but there's one that's pretty dang special and they're coming back again. I've already talked about them. And that would be Whiskey and Hard Tech. I've talked about this several times on the channel. But it's probably my favorite, if not top two favorite wash product of all time. And that is their Solid Beard Wash Bar. 
This is not a soap. Essentially what this is, is like a, a bottle of beard wash, gentle wash that is dehydrated. All of the water, all of the liquid ingredients are removed and it's down into this. It's easy to travel with. It lathers like crazy. It's not too stripping. It smells fantastic. It lasts forever. I love this. This is an absolutely amazing product from an amazing company. So I'll link that down below. Now I'm going to go over some of my favorite daily gentle washes. I know I missed some because I'm always rotating through like running out of a product and not having it. These are the ones that are in my shower right now. If you've ever seen like a, a video where I'm styling in the, in the bathroom, if you look behind me, I don't know if you get the right angle, you'll see these because I actually use them. So my number one most daily used wash of all time and still to this day would compete with the whiskey and hardtack solid beard wash bar. I don't know which one I use more. It'd be really close. That of course would be the LCW from Beard Octane. It's the lathering conditioning wash. The conditioning kind of throws some people off sometimes like, is that a co-wash? Is it a conditioner? No, no, no. In the English language, unfortunately, there's two uses of the word conditioning. This is conditioning like an oil or butter, not conditioning like a conditioner. Two very different meanings, the same same word and spelling. We can have examples all day of how messed up the English language is. This is a lather explosion. It is daily. It's gentle. It is fantastic. Love LCW. Some other options. This one I've really been getting into lately and I kind of slept on for a long time. And that would be the beard wash from Weatherbeard. I really like this base camp here. It's unscented. If I have a wash, I like it to be either like minty, fruity, or unscented. That's my preference. Another one here would be the daily wash from Alley Cat. And this one, I guess I got to add in there natural. This one has like a beautiful natural scent. Um, another one would be the beard wash from Defined Beard Co. This is that mintiness in there, fresh, tingly, fantastic. And then the last one that I have in my shower right now would be the daily Mac. Uh, they also have a, and, and now that I think I just haven't had it in a while. The bearded Mac has a really good clarifying or stripping. That's another word for stripping wash. That's a really good option that you don't want to use more than once a week. So he wanted to round out his lineup and just recently came out with this daily wash. All of those could be used every single day. Now, do I recommend rotating through washes? I do. I think it has the same impact as the plateau effect, not as much as, as oil, but I do believe your body gets used to things, right? It gets used to the impact and the differences. And the more you switch it up, the better. This is extreme, of course, but this is my life. This is what I do. But if you have a good solid, like one stripping option and two daily gentle options, I think that is absolutely ideal and you're going to be doing fantastic. All right. We gather my thoughts. You guys know two seconds for a conclusion. Final two statements to wrap it up here. Number one, beard conditioner does not wash your beard in any way. Beard co-washing, use a conditioner by itself, does not cleanse, clarify, wash, strip your beard at all. Do not think you are washing your beard when using a conditioner. I love conditioner for softening, for detangling, many great reasons to use a conditioner, but not to wash your beard. Number two, Wash your beard, but do it responsibly. The products you use and how often you use them do matter, even if we're getting rid of that old notion, that old myth that you should only wash your beard once a week. Me personally, that's kind of gross. I want to wash my beard definitely more than once a week, and I would prefer if you're coming in contact with me, most of you do as well. Now, let me know your thoughts down below, you guys. Questions on stripping washes, gentle washes. Do you have other recommendations? Let them flow. Let's hear what you use, why you like it, what's your rotation right now for your wash. Those comments can genuinely help out a consumer right now, especially someone that's learning and figuring out their beard. Are you every day washing, every other day following up with a conditioner? What's your routine for washing? Do you just listen to your beard? Are you that dialed in? That is fantastic if you are, you guys. This comment section should be very helpful, and I hope that you guys add into the conversation. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.